over. <laughs> Hello, my name is Liam Allen from the Elko Intermediate School Garden Club. I've been with Garden Club for two years. Today my presentation is about organic herbicides and pesticides. An herbicide is a chemical that kills plants and a pesticide is a chemical that kills insects. Organic means naturally occurring. Trees and grass are naturally occurring, but plastic is not naturally occurring or organic. We should use organic methods because it's cheaper and safer for the environment. It's important to have herbicides and pesticides because it controls pests and protects crops. You don't want thousands of dollars of crops getting destroyed and ruined by pests such as slugs and mites. So over here I have a picture of a slug. We've got cabbage eaten by slugs, a strawberry eaten by slugs, and tomatoes eaten by slugs. Inside my slug killer, I'm going to make a slug killer. I've got organic castile soap, orange oil. We, you can buy this at your local GNC. And one gallon of water. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a funnel on here just to make sure that we don't spill. We're going to grab three tablespoons of organic castile soap. was already in there, so I'm going to take the funnel out, pull it on, shake it off. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab, this is my slug killer, I've got it labeled slug killer. shake that well and we use it to control pests and this is a pesticide because it kills insects and over here we've got a microscopic picture of mites because they're not visible to the naked eye and we've got tree all of these are tree leaves these are all eaten by mites like this one this one this one this one this one i had to circle because it you had to circle it for better viewing because it's not as damaged as the other ones and roses and lavender is also affected by mites. Okay, inside the mite spray, we've got biodegradable dish soap. I'm using Dawn, it doesn't matter what type. Minced garlic, this is in mineral oil. I, you have to mince the garlic out in the morning, you have to strain it. And so after you strain it, you have the mineral oil and you strain it out, get rid of the garlic. So this is already finished, let it sit overnight and everything. And mineral oil, like I said, it's already in here. And the one pint of water, which is right here. Okay. So one teaspoon of biodegradable dish soap. Let it sit overnight and then you strain it out in the morning. Strain the garlic. Shake this up. There we go. And we 
use it to control pests. Again, this is a pesticide. All right, the, here's the weeds. We've got the before and after of the weeds. This is all shriveled up over here. This is after, before and after the spray. And here's before and after. The weeds would look like this, but it's not a great picture, so they pulled the weeds out already. And it's had my weed killer is eight ounces of white vinegar, which would be one cup of dirty vinegar, one fourth tablespoon of biodegradable dish soap, again, I'm using Dawn, and two tablespoons of Epsom salt. All right, so we've got eight ounces of white vinegar. tablespoon of Dawn soap. And two tablespoons of Epsom salt. If you noticed, I have this label, organic only. If you have commercial chemicals, and then you put organic chemicals in the same bottle you had commercial chemicals in, you're not actually using all organic chemical. You're still having some of that commercial chemical inside of your organic chemical. Okay, so over here, if you notice, we have the monarch butterfly and the bees. It says, have you seen me and save me? So the monarchs are getting affected because of pesticides that we use to kill other pests that we don't necessarily want. But it's also killing monarchs and honeybees. There used to be, 20 years ago, 1 billion monarch butterflies, the most highly populated butterfly in all of North America. And now there's 1.5 million monarch butterflies today. So it's a big difference because, and it's the same thing with the honeybees. You see four or five in your backyard, but it's not as much as you should see them. You should see them a lot more. That concludes my presentation. Any questions? Oh, yeah. Um, do you know, you said that organic is cheaper. Do you know how much all your ingredients cost? Because that's a lot of ingredients. Yep, I mean, the only things we had to buy was like the orange oil. This, this is really expensive. It's like five bucks for this little one ounce. And the mineral oil we just bought today, that was five dollars. So it's not, this is like five dollars. And we've got this, it, you could probably buy this for about five the same. Dawn's more expensive, but you can buy any biodegradable dish soap. So Dawn is just the name brand. But, but it, it's, so yeah, it's you're still, you have to spend money to. Yeah, to but it's do also, it. it's. I'm, I'm thinking it's cheaper than buying a whole thing of Roundup. Can you use all these things at your house when you get home? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But then that was also a small batch of vinegar weed killer. I've got handouts here. And it's your recipe. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> and do you find that um, this type of a weed uh, control product is better for your pets? if you have pets at home yeah. and things like that. I mean, yeah. it's all organic, so. Yeah. Any questions for Leanne this morning? Way in the back. Um, I like your presentation. We, we grow our vegetables organically, 
and the, uh, the solution we were using for the mic control, we, we just found out was wrong. Uh, so it was great to hear your presentation. Um, when I mix um, the solution for the mic control, after I mix it, how long can I still use that same bottle? Like, does it lose its strength over a few weeks, or is it is it good for the season? Mm -hmm. It should be good for the season as long as you have it contained in a bottle. You should be good. Okay. Like a mason jar. That was a good question too. I was. Uh, about that. How long? How long can the bottle of the stuff last? It should as long. I mean, it depends how much weeds or mites or slugs you have. It depends because if you've got a lot of slugs and mites, if you've got a lot of pests, then you're gonna have to spray more and make more. So the orange juice is actually just extra. The orange oil is act, can actually kill ants as well. It ruins their systems and can kill whole colonies. Orange oil is actually one of the main reasons that people start to squeeze oranges. That's just the extract. You can get the orange oil is the big thing that they want out of the oranges. And then it becomes orange juice that we can drink. That's just excess. You don't need that. Okay, well, if you want to go ahead and hand around your recipes, that would be great. <laughs>